nuclear reactor is not just a facility producing energy, but also a source of radiation which can be utilized in many different ways. One of them is neutron imaging. Most of you might know X-rays, which are often used in medical applications. These can penetrate the material and provide us with amazing insight into the specimen, showing heavy atoms in human bones and electing the light ones in muscle or organs. On the other hand, neutron imaging works slightly different. Neutrons are not shielded by heavy atoms, but by the light ones, such as hydrogen. So the neutron imaging shows only the light materials inside the investigated specimen, electing the heavy ones. With this approach, you might be able to see a flower hidden in a steel safe. Neutron imaging is uh, one of the most uh, widespread uh, utilization of research reactors, uh, which is uh, mostly uh, provided at uh, high power research reactors and medium power research reactors at the level at minimum around uh, 100 kilowatt. And it is quite unique and challenging to provide such kind of experiments with very low power research reactors uh, at a level around 1 kilowatt or lower. In 2015, a research project was started. Its aim was to demonstrate the applicability of neutron imaging at the University Reactor VR1 Sparrow. The design of this experiment was based on calculations and tests made by master degree student under the supervision of experienced professionals. This measurement provides unique opportunity of application of theoretical knowledge into practice. Uh, thanks to the master th thesis, uh, I had a chance to cooperate with professionals from several research facilities and also to present uh, the results abroad. Uh, these experiments uh, will uh, lead to implementation of neutron imaging uh, into practical education on uh, research reactor VR1. The experiment is maintained at the reactor radio channel, which provides neutron beam for irradiation tasks. To successfully accomplish neutron imaging, one has to use a special photographic plate. Two different plate types were used during the testing. The first one was a single-use self-developing plate and the second one was a multiple-use plate, which has to be scanned in a specialized device. Various types of samples, including ball bearings, polyethylene shapes and USB sticks were used in experiments. The samples were mounted on the plates using tapes. Afterwards, the plate with attached samples is inserted into the reactor tangential channel and secured in its position. Then the channel is closed with specialized cover and surrounded by polyethylene shielding bricks. The dosimetric situation is carefully controlled during the experiment. The irradiation can begin. After approximately one hour, the reactor is shut down. Some 20 minutes later, the plates can be safely removed. The dosimetric situation is again checked carefully. The results are immediately obtained from the self-developing plate. To see the results from multiple use plate, one has to scan it in a specialized scanner and then develop it on computer. The motivation why we uh, decided to introduce neutron imaging at our reactor is to give to students opportunity to study and to understand the basic principles of uh, this uh, widespread non-extractive testing method and also uh, we are hoping that our reactor uh, will allow to do some research in this field. The results are very promising and have been already introduced on international level. The success is obvious and the experiment will find its place in reactor educational tasks.